Hey what's up everyone this is Soul Reaper and I want to cover some information on the new Athena's planet that just came out over on the Borderlands website and that includes a more in-depth look at the environment we'll be seeing and some history on the planet as well. Alright so up until this point we haven't had much in terms of information when it comes to the planet of Athena's. We know that Maya is from here, that she grew up being manipulated by the Order, now known to be the Order of the Impending Storm, and that they use her to keep the people living on the planet under their control. We also know that this planet is going to be a huge point of interest when it comes to Siren and Iridian lore. So taking a look at the planet info, Athenus is a misty, tranquil planet that has recently attracted the wrong kind of attention. Athenus is mostly uninhabited, save for a sect of months known as the Order of the Impending Storm, who have made their home in the high peaks of the mountains. What secrets do they guard here inside ancient walls that were built long before humans set foot on Athenus? We've also gotten a chance to see some points of interest that'll be on Athenus, and that includes the Anchor Hold, Stormhaven Square, and Ditto Ditto's Remorse. So as mentioned before, we know that the Order referred to in Borderlands 2 is the Order of Impending Storm, and it seems likely that they'll be the ones held up in and around Stormhaven Square. There's no way yet to know if we'll be fighting soldiers of the Order directly, but based on past information that we do know, it wouldn't come to surprise to me if a lot of the storyline on this planet revolves around destroying the Order as a whole. Touching on the description saying that the planet has received a lot of the wrong types of information and the screenshots we also got from the Borderlands website, it would seem that this negative attention comes specifically from the Malawan Company. Considering that the gameplay we've seen so far shows them in an introductory way on Promethea, I'm thinking that more than likely we end up chasing them off that planet and we end up coming back here to Athenus. Taking a look at some of the screenshots, we can see that they've locked down a lot of the planet and taken control of it for themselves. There are plenty of vault symbols scattered throughout the various images, and no doubt the reason Molly One is here is to find a vault for themselves. This area in particular looks like it might be a bit of a town square, so it's very possible that what we're looking at right here is the Stormhaven Square, and at this point it's being controlled by Malawan. Now unfortunately, we don't get any in-depth information when it comes to the wildlife on Athenus in the same way that we did with Eden 6, but you can see here in this screenshot that there is a smaller creature located towards the bottom right, and it does have a bit of a mix between a skag with its harder exterior and the body shape of a cockroach. Besides the wildlife though, I'm sure that we'll be seeing a lot of mechanized Malawan enemies like on Promethea, and some of their soldiers as well, and again I'm counting on there being some sort of tie-in with the Order of the Impending Storm. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you found it interesting and learned something new, go ahead and drop a like and let me know down in the comment section which planet you're looking forward to exploring most in Borderlands 3. Subscribe for more Borderlands content in the future, and I will see you next time.